kind of tensile splice. A typical tensile splice connection is to be designed in accordance to these criteria. First, check for the edge distance and the spacing of the bolt hole. Design the shear resistance of the fastener or the bolt. Check for the critical bearing resistance of the plate and also check for the critical tensile resistance of the plate. The checking of the spacing and the edge distance has been discussed in our previous videos. And checking of the shear resistance of the boot is also discussed in our previous videos. Same goes to checking of the bearing resistance of the plate. Now we're going to discuss about critical tensile resistance of the plate. To check for the tensile resistance of the plate, clause 6.2.3 may be referred. The load resistance needs to be greater than the load acting on the connections. With that, the ratio NED divided by NRD needs to be less than 1.0 so that the connection does not fail. The tensile resistance of the connections can be calculated based on the equations listed here. This is to determine the tensile resistance of the sections with holes. And this is used to determine the tensile resistance of the sections which is undergoing slip resistance. Now we look into the design for the sections with hole. The tensile resistance with the, the minimum of the plastic resistance and the ultimate resistance of the steel plate. The plastic resistance of the steel plate is determined by the gross cross-sectional area of the steel plate multiply the design yield strength divided by factor of safety. The factor of safety gamma M0 will be equals to 1.0. Based on the equation here, we know that the resistance is governed by the specified yield strength of the steel sections. Next, we determine the ultimate tensile resistance of the steel sections, which is obtained by multiplying 0 0.9 with the net area multiply the ultimate tensile resistance of the steel sections divided by factor of safety gamma M2. The factor of safety here will be equals to 1.25. The FU here is governed by the steel grade which can be referred from euro code. And the A net here it will be the effective cross-sectional area which minus the area of the bolt hole. It is determined by multiplying the width and thickness of the plate minus the size of the bolt hole with the thickness of the plate multiply the numbers of bolt hole across the sections. The smaller value of these two will govern the tensile resistance of the steel plate. Under the circumstances where they are preload adding onto the bolted connections, in the existence of the slip resistance, the tensile resistance of the connections will be determined by these equations. The air net here is referring to the area which minus the area of the bolt hole. In this case, ultimate tensile stress of the steel sections is used and factor of safety N0 will be used. The factor of safety M0 will be equals to 1.0. To ensure the connection is adequate, the resistance need to be greater than the load so that the ratio will be less than 1.0 
and this will ensure the connections does not fail under tension.